Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Jake, or as you may better know me as Salvum, and this is a strategy guide for how to beat the Wrath of the Machine raid. Now a few things. First off, the raid entrance level is 370, and I strongly recommend being at that light level, if not about 368 at the lowest. If not, you're going to do some pretty low damage and you may not be able to even beat it. Additionally, this strategy is only going to be for boss strategies, as going to be for the first encounter, the bossic fight, the Death Zamboni, as well as the last two Axis fights. So for the first opening encounter, if you spawn in, you will notice that there are white lights shooting out of the ground. Now what you need to do is you need to run through the pattern of these lights to get a times 4 buff. When you do this, you will get an overcharge. When you get the overcharge, there are three generators that you need to fully charge up. So you and your raid team are going to need to charge this fully. When you get all three fully charged, the generators will drop out these SIVA clusters. Now you pick up these SIVA clusters as they spawn very rapidly, and you keep throwing them at Vosik. When you do this, his shield will drop and you will be able to do full damage to him. Now that sounds pretty simple, but there's a few twists. One, Vosik will be shooting at you. Two, there will be shanks that spawn that are like the saber ones from the strike. You have to kill these to make sure that they don't drain the energy from the generators. And finally, if you don't get the times for overcharge, by the time your timer runs out, you will die. Alright guys, so after this, you just gotta keep repeating. Once you do all the damage to Vosik, his shield will regenerate, and you have to do it again. Get the overcharge, power of the generator, hit him with the clusters, do damage, and then when he gets down to the lowest form of health, he will go immune, and he will teleport out of the fight. Alright, now onto the actual Vosik fight itself. So the way you're gonna wanna do this boss fight is you're gonna wanna have three teams of two. Two people on the left, two people in the middle, and two people on the right. Now what he's going to do is he's gonna spawn a lot of adds, which can be pretty hectic. But in the middle of this, he's going to drop three more SIVA clusters, and you'll hear a little ding similar to the mines in Prison of Elders. When you pick these up, coordinate with your raid team to throw them at the boss all at the same time. Now when you do this, his shield will go down one-third if you do all the damage correctly. Basically, just make sure you're throwing it all at the same time, and make sure you hit him directly to do the most damage to his shield. After this, the monitors behind them will go blank. One of them will randomly light up with SIVA imagery, and you have to destroy it. Otherwise, an overshield will spawn, which will make you wipe. So, kill adds, and while you're killing adds, pick up a SIVA clusters and throw it at his shield. Do that, and then shoot the monitor. Do that three times, and then you're able to damage him. Now, when you damage him, it's full DPS, just like the first encounter. However, about halfway through your damage encounter, there will be two SIVA clusters that will drop from the ceiling. Now while these drop, you need to pick these up and find the corresponding room that is lighting up. Now there are two rooms on each side of the fight, and two of these will be lit up. What you need to do is you and your raid team need to go inside this room, and once inside safely, you have to throw the SIVA cluster at the ceiling where the door is, and there will be a door that drops down protecting you from this overshield. Then, repeat the whole process. Kill adds, use the SIVA clusters to damage a shield, smash the monitor, do that three times, then you can do damage again, and if you're still not done, go back in the doors. Alright guys, after you've beaten Vosik, you are now on to the second phase, which is the Death Zamboni. Now you'll see the Zamboni charging at you, and there's also a lot of adds. So what you need to do is have four people with sniper rifles, and two people focusing adds, because there are a lot of adds that need to be cleared. Now the people with sniper rifles, shoot him in the turrets. Once you've done enough damage to each turret, they will explode. It will explode a crit in the machine's head. Once you've done enough damage to this, on the left side of the Zamboni, there will be a ledge that drops down, so you can actually jump on top of him. Once you ride him far enough, he will destroy a wall. After you destroy this wall, you have to run to the other wall ahead of you, and there will be a ship that drops three of the Zamboni's parts. Now when you pick up these parts, it slows you down significantly, and you can only carry it for 10 seconds at a time. After that, you will drop them. What you need to do is coordinate with your group when you're going to drop these, how to pick them up, how long you have to pick them up for, and pull it all the way back towards the Zamboni. I highly recommend having everybody who is not currently carrying a machine part to shoot ads because there are a lot of ads and this gets really frustrating if you don't do it correctly. Now once you get to the Zamboni, there will be an ad that spawns on top of its head. What you need to do is anybody who does not have a machine part, go on the machine and destroy that boss. Once you kill that boss on top, it will drop down a staircase which you can bring the machine parts up. Then, find the color coordinating part to put the piece into the machine, then you can ride it through the wall, and that's the entire encounter. Alright, now for these final two encounters will be with the same boss axis, and there are two different phases to this. In the first phase, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have three teams of two, just like the Vosik fight. Have two guys on the left, two on the right, two in the middle. 
Now what's going to happen is Axis is going to spawn adds, and after killing these for a bit, three captains will spawn each of a different burn. One will be Solar, one will be Arc, one will be Void. What you need to do is you need to kill the captain, pick up its cannon, and go find a servitor which also is a same burn as the cannon. Now what you do is you need to shoot the cannon at the servitor and hold down on R2. You need to direct impact the servitor. Once you hold down R2 on it, it will charge the explosive, and when you let go, it'll kill the servitor. Now when you kill the servitor, it will drop a SIVA charge. Now you need to take the SIVA charge and you need to throw it at the plate that spawns in front of Axis, as shown on screen. Now you have to do this three different times. The first two times, just kill one servitor of the same burn, you'll be perfectly fine, just do the process normally. However, on the third time of this process, there will be multiple servitors that will spawn of the burns and you need to kill them multiple times because there are more than three SIVA charges that need to be thrown. So, if you have a cannon, do not drop it and do not waste your ammo. You will have to kill multiple servitors. After you beat this fight, you are on to the final boss fight against Axis. Now this fight is slightly different, but it has the same home mechanics. With this fight, you're still going to kill the captains, you're still going to destroy the servitors, and now instead of throwing the SIVA charges at a plate, you're actually going to throw it at Axis himself. Now there's one more thing that is added into this fight, and that is the charge. Randomly, three guardians will be charged and will have a buff to them. They will move faster, they will take a little bit more damage, and they will do more damage. Now what's going to happen is after you've thrown three SIVA charges at Axis, his shield will go down and he'll be vulnerable to DPS attack. So what you need to do is you have to organize, have one charge on the left, have one guy who's charged on the right, and have one guy who's charged in the middle. Because when Axis' shield goes down, he will teleport randomly to either right, left, center, or back center. When he does this, one person with the charge has to go on his back and hold either square or X, depending on what console you're on, and it will make it so he's pinned down to the ground for a bit. At this point, unload on him. You need to do a lot of damage to him. Then if you stunned him and you actually did damage to him, he will teleport again randomly. What you guys want to do is you want to keep on coordinating which side has a buff, because you need to have a guy with a buff on each side of the map. One on the right, one on the left, one in the middle. However, every time that you down him, which you can do up to three times per rotation, one more person will lose the buff. So the buff keeps transferring, and you just need to keep talking out. This is a lot of communication. After you get him down three times with the buff, he will go immune again and go back to the middle of the map, which he will call in a death barrier. So what you need to do is there are four platforms behind you, behind the boss fight. Everyone in your fire team has to run to one of them and stand on that until Axis has used his buff. After that, repeat the entire fight. Repeat killing the captains, kill a servitor, throw the charge at his back, and then whatever three people have the charge, coordinate getting him down and pinning him to the ground. After you've done this to where he has barely any health left, he will teleport to the middle one last time, where you need to unload on him fully, otherwise he will wipe your squad completely. If you've done it all right, congratulations, you beat Wrath of the Machine. All right, guys, that's been my tutorial as to how to beat Wrath of the Machine raid. If you have any questions, please comment or tweet me at Salvums, and I will try to help you guys out. But until next time, guys, I've been Jake, or as you may better know me as Salvum. I'll talk to you guys later.